What's up? What's up? Hello Orchid fans, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well today and I've got a relaxing video for you and you know hopefully something um, pretty to look at and this is a bloom alert um, so I'll give you a quick preview of the beauties and this is my epidendrum no ID cakey that I got so um, uh, one of the Instagram orchid growers has um, we've kind of got in contact and we did an orchid swap and uh, she offered me this beautiful cakey so when i got it it was a teeny tiny one i got this at the end of july and i filmed an unboxing video so i will link it down below in the description for you and at the end of the video as well but um yeah it was so tiny it was basically as small as this new growth that you can see here so it was pretty much that size, um, you know, this this one, this grove here. And um, yeah, you know, she was like, if it doesn't survive, let me know, I'll send you another one because she, I think she had quite a few cakes, but not only it survived, it's actually grown so well. It's grown so many leaves on this new grove and obviously flowers. Um, so it bloomed. Um, and it's also now working on a new growth um, as well so it is kind of getting a bit pushed aside but I'm sure it will make its its way um, up and uh, you know they will be fine it's growing new roots as well this new growth and if I lift the pot it's absolutely just circling the pot with new roots so I think I'm gonna have to repot it pretty soon. I wanted to wait until all these flowers just drop, you know, before I repot, but we'll see if it goes too, um, too mad in the pot. I'm gonna just have to get it repotted sooner. Um, so at the moment, I've only got, I believe, four flowers fully opened, and there is another probably five or six still to open. You can see some buds. Um, kind of in the middle so there is still gonna be quite a few blooms to open and I'm filming this video quite a bit in advance of uploading this video so once it opens more blooms if it does you know before I um, have to upload this video I will insert either a short clip of um, you know that being in more fuller bloom um, because yeah I, I don't think I will be able to wait until all of the blooms open but I will show you kind of more up to date, um, you know, flowering, if if we get any any kind of progress on it. But yeah, I am loving these blooms, so I will try and take some up close clips of the bloom. But it's so pretty. It's you know when I initially saw it on um, on the Instagram from the grower that I got it uh, from these flowers seemed just kind of uniform orange color like very deep and very vibrant orange uh, so very very pretty but now when i'm looking at these blooms in real life and i hopefully i can get this on camera as well they are you know kind of more reddish or super super deep and um, kind of closer to um to the center of the blooms and then it's it's kind of washing that red into orange at the ends of the petals and sepals. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining this very well, but hopefully you can see it on the on the film. The lip is so pretty as well. It's so fuzzy and it looks like a small bird to me. I I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if that's if everyone sees birds here, but I honestly see like a tiny bird and it's got very cute red speckles on the lip but otherwise it's orange lip and it's basically got like a yellow center so it's it is stunning it's got so much depth to it it's got um you know it's like different layers of colors it's just really really pretty um so i really hope i can actually 
find a way of filming these properly to you um, to, to show you because this is just so pretty the plant itself is pretty small I don't know if how I can show you but it's you know with my compared to my hand if you go from the base of the plant you know it's just above my fingertip so it's a very very small and compact plant which I'm so happy about I don't have much space to grow orchids in so I'm more kind of collecting miniature orchids and you know small orchids in general so you know epidendrums can usually get really really big so um, I was asking a lot of questions about you know how tall is it how tall is it with a spike you know can I will I be able to fit it on my shelf basically and that is still a cake so I'm sure it will grow taller than what it is right now um, but it is still pretty small and cute plant so I'm really happy that I managed to get my hands on like a miniature epidendrum basically and especially with blooms like that oh my god I will take them any day um, there is no fragrance to these blooms um, I don't know if that's correct or if it might you know develop a fragrance later on or maybe even with the next blooming um, I'm not sure but at the moment I don't detect any any scent any fragrance whatsoever um, I'm currently I got it in this cute little pot so it's got sphagnum moss um, in the pot and then it's got a layer of sorry a layer of bark on top uh, basically to prevent algae um, I've got my tag on here as well I don't know the idea of it um, I think there is actually quite a lot of orange epidendrums out there so it's quite difficult to find um, a name for it if you have any idea what it could be please um, give me a shout let me know leave a comment uh, below I would love to ID the circuit but you know if I don't have an ID it doesn't really matter to be honest it's so pretty you know I will keep it anyway regardless of the name um, so yeah it's it's basically planted in sphagnum moss and bark and I don't water it too much I try to kind of let the moss to dry out as much as possible I don't think it ever dries out in full though um, and it is quite wet right now but I watered that yesterday um, and I did a flush so it's got like a really good flush through so um, you know it's it was expected for it to be wet at the moment but you can see there is no water in the pot it is a bit damp you know from from the from the pot and um, from this plastic pot but there is no water reservoir or anything in here so it is grown in in organic media um, and when I report it, so I will I will try and grow it in organic media as well, so possibly bark. Uh, I'll maybe add some ceramic pieces or something to just keep the moisture going. But I'll I'll film the the report so we can all um, kind of do it together. But yeah, it is very pretty blooms. Um, and I just wanted to show you. I couldn't wait to talk about it, so I'm filming this in advance. But yeah, if we get better blooms, if we get basically more blooms to open, then I will give you some clips so you can see what it looks like. But that is pretty much it. Um, let me guys know if you're growing any epidendrums. Have you got the big ones or have you got any small ones like that? Um, I think they're so cute and pretty easy to grow. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not giving it any special care apart from what the rest of my orchids are getting and it seems to be enjoying its life so far um, so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you're having a good day and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next one bye